Today, we're going to talk about how to respond when your interviewer asks, what is your greatest weakness? Okay, before we start, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so what do you say when an interviewer asks you, what is your greatest weakness? Now, believe it or not, there really is a wrong way to answer this. You see, when someone asks this question, they're looking for any sign that you're not going to be able to learn or adapt. So let's say you applied for a C-sharp back-end developer position, and you get the greatest weakness question, and you reply with... Yeah, well, you know, I really hate front-end work, you know. I prefer to stick with the back-end. You know, it's just where I'm more comfortable. So why was this a bad answer? Well, you might have thought it was a safe answer because you're applying for a back-end position, not a front-end position. But it's not a great answer because when I hire somebody, I want someone who is flexible and willing to learn. This doesn't show flexibility or willingness to learn. Now, another thing people do sometimes is they try to be clever and they pick a strength and they try to flip that strength into a weakness, and they kind of sound like this. Hey, I'm a perfectionist. You know, I just can't let go of a project, you know? Or, well, I think my thing is that, like, I just, I work all the time. Like, I just work too much. Like, I just, I don't want to stop working. I just can't let go, you know? Now, the problem with these answers is that they know you're lying. And also, I'm not sure I want to hire someone who's such a perfectionist that he gold plates all of his work and doesn't get anything done on time. So what's a good answer? Well, you want to show two things self-awareness, and the ability to improve. My suggestion is to pick one trait from the acronym RIC, which stands for recollection, introversion, criticality, and knowledge. And the best part is every single one of these traits can be overcome. R stands for recollection, like you have a bad memory. Honestly, I think my greatest weakness is that I, I have a really bad memory, uh, and I've learned to compensate for that by always having a notepad and a pen on me at all times. Uh, I, I take a lot of notes, and I even have a wiki page that I, I edit, and I have connection strings and snippets of code. Uh, you know, that's all helped me with my, my bad memory. So that's a reasonable weakness that people can relate to, and you have a way to overcome it. I stands for introverted, and that's an easy one because a lot of us are. Uh, probably, probably my greatest weakness is that I, I'm shy. I'm an introvert. Um, and I've learned how to overcome that uh, since I've joined Toastmasters. I've gone to a lot of their uh, presentations and I've given speeches myself and I, I'm a lot better now speaking in front of groups than I was before. Again, problem, solution. And if you really are introverted, check out your local Toastmasters. It just costs a couple of bucks a month to join and it'll teach you so much about public speaking. You'll gain so much confidence. C stands for critical, as in self-critical. Look, I know a lot of us engineers have imposter syndrome and I think a lot of that stems from the fact that Software is very binary. I mean, it either works or it doesn't. And when it doesn't work, we can be really hard on ourselves. So here's how I would handle that. I'm pretty self-critical. Uh, programming's always come easy to me. So when I've encountered stuff that I don't know how to do or, or something that is outside of my wheelhouse, I don't always know how to handle that. Um, and I've actually compensated for that by figuring out how to fail, by doing stuff that I'm bad at and failing. Um, I did a 10K. I did not come in first. I did open mic night at a uh, at a comedy club, and I bombed. It was almost like I, I, I'm getting better at accepting failure by learning how to fail. Finally, the K stands for knowledge. One of my biggest weakness is link. I, I don't know link that well, but I found this link question of the day, and every day I wake up, and the first thing I do is I do this link question of the day, and I've slowly been getting better at the language. So pick one of those weaknesses that fit you best. Practice saying it in the mirror a couple of times and good luck on your next interview.